Hey there, it's Arlene. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on DreamHost. DreamHost is a web host. Um, you may be using GoDaddy or HostGator or one of the many other web hosts out there. Um, with DreamHost, you can use WordPress or you can use one of their, their DreamPress web builder or you can use, um, you can design it yourself and upload it through FTP. Um, you have a lot of different options with them. They also have many different plans that you can get uh, depending on how simple or advanced. Um, I decided to do this video because I'm going to be doing another video on how to create a one-page website using WordPress. And I thought, well, some people may not even know how to install WordPress. So here we are today doing this. So I'm going to leave a link in the uh, down below the video so that if you don't have a dream host account um, you can sign up through my link and I'll get a slight a very small commission from them um, the other thing too is that you can also buy a domain name so if you don't have a domain name for your site uh, your website then you're gonna have to do that you might as well just do it right through DreamHost and make it easy on yourself so here uh, once you get to DreamHost you choose whatever plan you want just click on get started if you're gonna be doing just a simple one-page uh, website this uh, shared starter site is just fine for one-page WordPress so we'll click sign up now once you choose your plan you will step through the create an account process. We're not going to go through that. If you do create an account, you're going to log, get logged in, and you're going to come to the DreamHost control panel, which your screen will look something like this. On the left side, you see there's a menu, get started, domains, WordPress, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go to WordPress. And then from WordPress, we'll click on one click installs. And you'll come to this screen right here. So there's all these, uh, these are different things you can install to build your website on. We're gonna choose WordPress. Just click right on the icon there. And this one-click installer pops up. So just come down here to the bottom where it says one-click installer, install to, select a domain. So I'm gonna select my training at arlenewest.com. You will probably only have one here. So, and then leave everything the, the way it is. Leave this part over here blank, automatically create the database, leave the Lex installed checked, and then click install it for me now. And it says WordPress will be installed within 10 minutes. So you just have to wait. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, the WordPress, you'll get an email saying that WordPress was installed on your site. It'll go to whatever email you used when you signed up for your WordPress account. And so in the email, there's a link, this rather long one here, to set your password. So if you click on that, it takes you to your site, the, the login place. Now you can see this, uh, this is the password it sets by default. Um, you could keep that, you could go ahead and just copy and paste it somewhere and keep it. Um, or if you're like me, I'm going to just put in my own password. Now you're ready to log into your new WordPress website. And you're all ready to start designing. So look for my next video about how to um, create a one-page website out of this WordPress installation we just did here today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead, please hit that subscribe button click for notifications and um let me know if you liked it down in the comments like the video <laughs> you know the deal you know the drill here on youtube and i will talk to you later thanks